So I want to talk about a film that I didn't watch at first when it first came out, and I, don't, I think a lot of people didn't watch it, but it's another one of these films that got like 42% from the critics on Rotten Tomatoes, but 95% from the people, and it is a film that really took me off guard. It's a film called Father Stew, starring Mark Wahlberg and Mel Gibson, uh, written and directed by Rosalind Ross. Now, when I saw this, the reason I didn't watch this is because I thought it was going to be another one of these Christian happy talk films. It shows a picture of Mark Wahlberg, uh, you know, looking tough and mean and getting arrested. And then it has a picture of him looking up to heaven as a priest. And you think, oh man, I don't want to watch that. I know there's going to be some girl with tattoos who's having a lot of sex and who's cynical and he's going to, you know, bring her around and all that. It's nothing like that. It's, in some ways, it's a difficult film to watch. But first of all, congratulations to Rosalind Ross for really writing a good script. It fe- I don't want to give anything away because the film went totally sideways on me. It went and it, you know, it was going along and I thought, yeah, this is the film I kind of expected it to be. And then suddenly it all changed. I didn't know the true story that it was based on, so I didn't know what was coming. And when it did come, I was like, what? That's really uh, startling. And it really becomes a much different film than you think it's, it's going to be. First of all, Wahlberg is great in it. He is just does a really, really good job with a film that requires a full range of emotions. And he's terrific. But the star of the picture in terms of acting is Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson gives one of the performances of his career in this. You know, there are th- three levels of actors. There's bad actors where you look at the guy's face or the girl's face and you look, get to his eyes and you see that he's not in the part. He's just kind of thinking through things. And then there's a, a good actor who you look in his eyes and you see it, it, they fit with the character. And then there's a performance like Gibson gives in this movie. He plays the father of Father Stu, the real father of Father Stu. Uh, there's a performance like Gibson gives in this picture where you see his face and he's acting, but you look in his eyes and you see the character's soul. You don't see Mel Gibson's soul. You see the character's soul. And that's the uh, performance Gibson gives in this. It is a terrific performance. If there were any justice in the world, which we know there's not, he would be given an Oscar uh, for the uh, for a supporting role. Uh, I'm sure that Gibson will never be honored by Hollywood ever again, but he deserves it for his performance in this. It is absolutely spectacular. More than that, though, is the relationship between Wahlberg uh, and his father. His father's an alcoholic and has been giving him a hard time all his life because uh, his brother died and his father's, the grief destroyed his father. Uh, and the, as their relationship changes uh, in the course of the movie, it's so well written that they don't, there's no sentimentality, there's zero sentimentality. You can barely tell that their relationship is changing, except slowly, slowly it does. And their dialogue remains insulting and uh, full of curse words and all of the stuff that it has always been. And yet the tone of it changes. It is a wonderful piece of screenwriting by Rosalind Ross. I don't know how much of it was ad lib because I know Mark, both Wahlberg and Mel Gibson are funny, uh, you know, smart alecky guys, and maybe they ad lib some of it. But whenever I hear that actors ad libbed a part, uh, I usually am doubtful of it. Most of those parts are actually written. I've seen actors ad lib. They're never as funny as the uh, writer is, uh, never as good as the writer is. It's not an easy film to watch. It's not a, a pleasant film in a lot of ways because it's very realistic about uh, certain things, that certain unpleasant things that happen. And it shows you what those things are and then puts them in a Christian context and a Catholic context. Uh, you know, it's got some really good lines in it, some really uh, good writing about Catholicism, about Christian belief. Um, and I just I just thought it was a very, very surprising film. It's not very often that a film surprises me, and it's not very often that it surprises me for the good, where it's actually better than I think it's, it, it's going to be. I know a lot of people miss this film. It didn't do well at the box office. I don't know what it's doing uh, now that it's streaming. I saw it on Netflix. I think it's on other places. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon Prime as well. Uh, But it is worth watching. Mark Wahlberg, really good actor, uh, rarely gets a part. He's an action star, so he rarely gets a part uh, that takes him to this level of his talent. Uh, And again, Mel Gibson is just terrific. And the relationship between them when they're both on screen uh, is excellent and really, really well written. And just uh, cheers to Rosalind Ross for what she's also the director but cheers to her for the script she wrote because I just think it's really well done. Uh, again, this look, I'm not telling you this is one of the greatest films ever made. I don't want to say that. But if you want to see uh, what a really good Christian movie uh, can look like, I very much recommend Father Stew. It is not for children. Uh, a lot of language. There's a lot of language in it, a lot of reality in it. But I think that if you are interested in, in Christian filmmaking and how it can tell a, a real story about life and still 
be a noble and decent and uplifting story, this is a good picture to watch. Wow, that was so great. If you want more like that, like and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to The Andrew Clavin Podcast.